Hello and welcome. This is the third part to my series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. We have now solved the front or the, the top layer, the first layer, the second layer, and now we're working on the last layer of the cube. This is the longest section to solve, but it's also the most easiest because there isn't really any exceptions to the procedure. We will begin by um, looking at the top surface. If you look here, do you see an L in any way making with these yellow pieces? No, we do not. But if you do find an L, you want it to go down here and out this. So it's going to be a backwards L. And then you'd make that facing you right here. But in my case, there is none that I can use. So we will not be doing this. Now that you have uh, looked at your cube, let's begin. We'll start off by going front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. We have now made that L I was talking about. Now we want to make this L go away from us. Okay, it is now away from us, right here. And that makes this blue side our front side. So with this blue side in front of us, we go front, right, or right, up, right, up, front. We now have a line. It doesn't matter if we have it this way or this way. We just have to have the line going horizontally in front of us. So now we do the same thing again. Front, right, up, right, up front. Uh, algorithms are in the description, so if you're not catching this, uh, just take a look in the description. It will help you out. We have now made the cross with the yellow section. We will now begin by matching these pieces with the corresponding color, like this one right here. So, we want to match two of them like this. So we just spin it and look. We have a green matching and an orange matching right here. So that means this is good. But if it was like this, and only one matching, this will not work. But you'll always have two matching, because it, you're, you have to. It's, you're guaranteed to. So just keep moving around until you see that you have two matching. Okay, I noticed that my orange and my green are matching. So we put the green on the right side of us. And we go right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. We have now made the cross, and we notice that these pieces have now been scrambled, but if we simply just turn it until you match this orange piece with the orange side, all of them have now matched up. Now, the last part we are on is the corners. We are almost solved the cube. Um, I find this algorithm to be the most fun because it kind of rolls off the hands. Okay, let's begin the last step. So we will be finding a corner piece that has the yellow section and the correct sections right here on this corner piece. So this is yellow, red, green yellow, red, but this is blue, so this corner piece we cannot work with. This is yellow, blue, orange. Yellow, blue, orange. We can work with it. And just so happens that it's also in the upright facing position, but um, it just has to have the colors. It doesn't have to be facing the correct way. You have to keep that in mind. So now, this algorithm um, will be in the description. It's going to be the same thing for everything, so you want to have this correct piece on the right side of you. And you go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, like that. Now we have this color is the right color, this one is the right color, and look, green, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, so that piece works, blue, red, yellow, 
blue, red, yellow, so that piece works as well. So we have all the colors in the right corners. Now, remember that uh, algorithm I was teaching at the very beginning, right inverted down, inverted right down. We will now begin using that again. So we have to find a corner piece that doesn't have this yellow piece on the top, which is this one and this one. So we'll begin. Have this on your right side, right here. And go right inverted down, inverted right down. Right inverted down, inverted right down. This piece is now going into this. You want to make sure that you have to follow this precisely now. Your cube is getting mixed up. You might be getting worried, but don't worry. It'll all come back together. Now turn the top section. Do not turn the rest of the cube. You can only turn the top section from here. So you turn the top section and make this corner the right piece again. Don't turn the cube. Hold it and pinch it so you don't let it turn. Now keep it here and go right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 You now have this, this, and now turn. And your cube is solved. Um, just look in the description for the algorithms. Um, you'll be able to solve this cube, I guarantee you. Um, it might take you an hour. You don't have to memorize the algorithms. Just look at them on the screen or watch this video as you solve it. But um, I hope you will be able to solve it because it's really not that difficult. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a question in the just, uh, comment section and I will answer it for you. Um, if you uh, if this video helped for you, uh, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And also uh, like this video so it can get shared and uh, more out to the public. So thank you very much.